Hello folks, it's me Bugsy. More specifically Bugsy No Name. I you know, some people wanted me to talk do this as Bugsy John Crow and chime in with on chime in with my you know with Ansa Kamaru and do all that good stuff. But honestly I'm gonna treat this a little bit more seriousness and uh Honestly, I feel like this whole entire thing could have been avoided if YouTube would, well, do something about the algorithm for one. And no, you know, and this chick was effing crazy, but crazy, but crazy because of YouTube and because she was probably insane. And, you know, when people go like that, I feel like. I heard like her the shooter's father and you know the shooter's father uh basically said you know uh you know we sh you guys need to get here you you know get the police here she's disgruntled she's angry at YouTube and she's going to do something fucking horrible but like you like certain not all law not law all law enforcement but some that like to sit on their asses didn't do anything about this. And this chick injured a few, you know, didn't really, didn't really kill people, but injured them. And then she took her own life. Personally, I'm not, see, guys, see, guys, us YouTubers, in a way, some of us do stick together. For So, for some of us, this shit is personal. On a level. And it may not feel like that to some of you. But you know. YouTube. Is the place. Where. Where where a dude with nothing but an idea. And some time on his hands. Can make a fucking interesting show. Or a nice blog. Or a nice vlog. Or some animation. Even though YouTube's not the place for animation anymore. But you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to say. And just to have this chick just come on, come on in, and have no one do nothing about it beforehand, because this all could have been avoided. The police would have just took this lady to, took this lady to jail, or probably, you know, put her in the, you know, into like some sort of mental institution. But no, everybody, no. Nah, but people gotta pay for not, for. People not looking in on it, and YouTube should take some sort of to take some sort of lesson from this and actually try and be like, you know what, fuck, you know, either we need to do something with the algorithm that actually makes sense so people can actually get money on their videos, or the people who are really, really flipping crazy, we need to ban, we need to ban the shit right away. Or, you know, the or people that go like this, you know, and people that are like clearly this, you know, are crazy and going off the rails. Why didn't someone stop her sooner? Because we all got to pay just because one person didn't decide to fucking stop her when the time was right. And people are paying for that. And. And from what I hear, heard, the victims they did get shot are doing okay. They're in stable condition. That's good. And, oh yeah, before I keep going on with this, you all may say, Well, Bugsy, you're more goofy and stuff, and you did a Deadpool thing, and, you know, you got no business talking about this. Okay, for those people, I would love to say this. Hi, it's my channel. I'll do what the fuck I want and not you or anybody else or anybody else in this fucking site can tell me how to run my channel because uh, my channel is called the Big Three Box Network. Not, motherfuck not motherfuckers can dictate what I can say on my channel. What I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. We, you know, 
I'm saying that this was horrible. I'm not saying it's all the gun's fault. It's the individual's fault. It's not gun's fault that we got fuck we got we got these we got these crazy ass people holding these guns, shooting people, killing people. It's not the gun's fault. It's the individual. Because something's wrong with that person and none of you. Some of you don't even pick up on that shit until it's too late. Well, how many more people are going to die until some of you, when you see these, if you know these people or know what they're about to do beforehand, why don't you try and stop them? And I'm not trying to blame anybody in particular, not really, but I feel like we, you know, some shootings, we can prevent it because sometimes the shooters, before they shoot up a place, they show signs of their of their fucking sanity leaving. They show signs that everything is not well. They show signs that they're losing their fucking minds. And we need to do something about it. We don't need we don't need to stop the guns. What we need is the is to get the pe get the people who are going insane and doing this shit some help, or at least put them somewhere where they can't hurt anybody. That's how I feel about it. It's all about guns, guns, let's blame Trump. Guns, guns, let's blame Trump. No, it's the people who are fucking insane and literally can take, and literally take, and they literally take their own fucking lives after it's all over because they don't want to deal with the consequences of their actions. And as much as I would say that, okay, if a person is suffering from depression, that I understand. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, no one's, no one's quick enough to help them or anything. But the, I'm talking about the, but the people who commit suicide after committing a gigantic crime like a shooting, those people are motherfucking selfish. I don't fucking care. You need this, you need to face up to your actions. Go people need to, you know, folks like that to me are weak because, oh, you can't stick to your guns. You can't face up to what you've done. You have to end it just because you have to end it just because you can't face it. And that's that's the kind of fu that's the kind of fucking shit that makes me just say, oh, take your own life. But you can't freaking you can't freaking at least try to, you know, atone for anything you did. And I bet she thought she was right. I bet she thought this is the only way for YouTube to pay attention. Listen, we are not going to have, we are not going to, we can't. We can't. We can't get change through fucking violence. I don't care if any of, I don't care what any of you think. We can't just go up and be like, oh, bang, 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 bang. Because YouTube ain't going to listen to us. If anything, they're going to be more afraid of certain YouTubers that are getting demonetized. Because they think that we're going to be all unstable and shit. I don't know what her plan was, and I don't think we'll ever truly know. But it's still, it's still fucking stupid. And it was, it was... It was horrible. These people could have died, and this this freaking this freaking crazy chick, this freaking crazy chick that did all this stuff on. I've heard about her videos. Her videos are fucking crazy. YouTube, YouTube, and I heard that you guys don't have any security in on in YouTube. In the YouTube headquarters, y'all should have security guards. I'm not saying people should. I'm not saying you should have like security guards with M80s and shit. I mean, I mean AK-47s and shit. But I'm saying some people that can actually, I don't know, protect people that can that are dealing with this shit. At least, I just don't know, guys. Man, this like uh. 2018 is off to a great fucking start.
okay, I'm a little, I'm a little bit be- I'm a little bit, I'm kind of better now because I took a vacation from all of this. But now that I'm back, it's just, yeah, it's back to the same old, same old. <laughs> well, mostly. But what, but what I say is this: If she was this crazy, why didn't anybody, anybody? Step up and do something about it before it's too late. Her father took initiative and actually told the authorities that, yeah, my daughter is fucking, my daughter is fucking disgruntled and she wants to fucking take it out on YouTube. Someone please take care of it. But, oh, where were all of you when, where were all you when these people need you the most? Absence. I'm not trying to point blame, but I am saying, people, if you have the power to prevent a shooting, if you if you have a friend that is showing signs that he or she is going to do something reckless, and if the and the authorities don't listen, make them listen. Keep pestering them. Keep freaking having them look into it. Do what you can because because I'll be goddamned. If we have another fucking shootout this year. If we all do have the power to prevent it. And, oh yeah! And oh yeah, Mr. President! Don't think I forgot about you! Blaming violent video games on every little shooting. <laughs> you know, it's funny how idiots like you never seem to change. It doesn't matter what kind of power you possess or what you have. It's always going to be the same fucking shit. Blame violent video games because that's the only way to explain to someone shooting someone that's mentally unwell. Oh yeah, they play Doom. So that's basically the reason why they did what they did. Sorry. Remember kids, I never voted for Trump. I voted for another I voted for another freaking candidate that was a lot better than the two that we were getting. I just want to keep that in mind. I want you all to keep that in mind before you say, oh, well, Hillary, well, Hillary could have done better or all that other shit. Because honestly, I didn't vote for any of those fucks, to be real. But you know what? But you know what, folks? What you can do right now is talk to, talk to your friends, hug, hug your family, and be, and be thankful that you and those victims are still alive. You know, be, be, be just be happy. And if pe- and people, if you have, if there's any way to stop the shooting and you see warning signs, your friends, your family members or whatever, and you got the power to stop it, do. Just do. And you too. Don't think I didn't forget about you. I've seen I've seen you guys change from a freaking platform that accepted all creative minds to a platform that will literally shackle us creators if we don't agree with you. And I gotta say, that is fucking low. It's still fucking low and dirty. And I hope you guys actually take action for the employees that for the employees that are under your stead and for the people the people who make YouTube what it is. Because they're the most important things. We're making content for all of we're making content for you. And some of us want compensation. Because we all have bills to pay. We all got stuff. We all got stuff that needs to get paid and things we need to do. And y'all can't keep demonetizing us for doing small things. And then, and then we got a free, and then people, and then all this other shit. This person was crazy to begin with, but this person was crazy to begin with. But, 
you guys got to take a look at yourself and wonder, is this the path you guys really want to go down? Constantly demonetizing people because, because, because PewDiePie did this or this person did that. You know? Is this the path you want to go down? Because honestly, if this keeps going, more people are going to pull away from YouTube. More advertisers are going to pull away from YouTube. What and what will be left? What will be left? What will be left, YouTube? Because they don't want to be associated with a place that got shot up by one one of the many users on YouTube. The fallout, I feel, won't be that immense. But then again, I have been wrong about this kind of thing uh, multiple times in the past. I, I will not, I will not say that this. There's not going to be any repercussions of this. There will be. But YouTube, got to think about us for once, and think about and think about your employees and get some security in that goddamn building first of all. But you gotta think about us too. Not just the bigger guys, but the littler guys. The ones that keep people watching. No matter what we're doing. You know? Because not all because not all of us are saying crazy things. You know, crazy things and doing what this person did. We're all just trying to do our thing. We're just doing our thing to entertaining our audience. Because that's what people need in tragedies like this. Laughter. Understanding. A little bit of, a little bit of empathy and caring. You know? Not you guys constantly, like, blacklisting everybody just because, oh, we say something you guys don't like. Some YouTubers don't do it solely for the money. Like me, I do it for entertainment purposes. The cash I would receive would be a bonus. But that means I did a good job. That means I did my best, and I, I'm glad I get, and I'd be glad I get paid for it. To be real, and people don't blame fucking sick and. People don't make those jokes about, oh, Sigus, Sigus got revenge. No, man. Even Sigus was like, don't, don't make those kinds of jokes because people did get hurt. And I'm just saying, guys, maybe like I'm all over the place because I am. And this video is totally fucking off the cuff. I have no script. I have no script whatsoever. I have no script whatsoever. But I do want to just say, I do want to say from the bottom of my heart, for the victims that got shot, you, you have my condolences. I hope you, I hope you get through this because we don't need any more. We don't need any more body counts. We don't need a big old body count this year. We don't. Lord knows we got a plenty. We got plenty of that. Towards the end of two, 2017. I hope you. I hope you all. I hope. I hope you all. Get through this. And I hope you. I hope you get through this. And I will be praying for you dude. I'll be praying for you dudes and dudettes. I just hope. I just hope everything will be. I hope everything will be okay. And I hope you two. Will probably actually open their eyes. And you know. Think about their employees, for one. But, that's about it. I'm Bugsy No Name. The, the man behind, the man behind the chaotic jester. And, quite honestly, quite honestly, it, when I hear stuff like this, 
It really does bum me out. I don't normally do videos like this because, you know, you guys want to see, you guys want to see Bugsy goofing around, making jokes, you know? But I felt like I needed to talk about this because, again, the, you know, this person attacking you, you know, attacking YouTube's headquarters, it's very fucking personal to us. It's like it happened in our own backyards. And us, in the, us as a community need to band together and look out for each other. So this shit doesn't happen again. That's all I gotta say. In YouTube, you can be mad. You could you could freaking blacklist me from YouTube all you want, but this is how I feel, and I shouldn't be censored or silenced for that. Y'all need to look within yourselves, you know, and think. That's all I gotta say. <sighs> Bugsy No Name out, peeps. Use your minds. Use your minds and always, always think.